Hello everyone, my name is Deathslinger and welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Guide. JK, that's not my intro. Uh, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Sninger here. Yep, that's more like it. Okay, so let's just do the second round of it. Um, fix this wall. Yep, let's just do it. I'm just gonna um, take you to the... the part where I start doing what he does yep okay so this is exactly where I was I left it that creepy sound I mean anyways that's exactly where I was last time when I ended the last video I immediately closed the map for that um, so we're gonna start right from there okay so let's just oh it's night out so let's just wait for the Sun I'll skip the part okay so it's morning but it's raining so i guess we'll continue in the rain let's just play the video of it a wonderful day today we're going to continue our minecraft survival let's play adventure together and as you can see some more trees have grown in the night fantastic stuff i am going to start off today by acquiring a source of food if we can because I'm about to eat my last cooked pork chop and I've only got one apple and a bit of rotten flesh left to eat. And the rotten flesh doesn't sound particularly appetizing. You can eat it in a pinch, but it is a little bit dangerous to do so, which I might explain later. And we've only got one apple left, which probably isn't going to cut the mustard. So we're going to start off by chopping down a couple of trees because now we've got the energy we may as well. Our hunger isn't depleting quite yet. And we do need this wood for a couple of things we're going to do today in terms of making tools. But there are two very important things we need to do. The first of which, as I've already explained, is starting to put together a source of food. And the second comes from that sheep over there. We are going to make ourselves a bed. Because just as important as having a source of food is having a place to sleep. Especially now that we've updated to Minecraft 1.13. Minecraft 1.13 has introduced a new type of monster into the game called a phantom and phantoms That's my house there. I got to collect my loot before it gets despawned Oh, we might, we might as well get the ink sacks so. Okay, thank you very much quickly go there and fight that if we can that only skeleton with that gold armor which I think was enchanted maybe I don't know okay see so we got the axe and I think he has despawned anyways so just like fix it we'll, we're gonna cut down the Chop down the trees here. Axe is the best thing to use for that purpose. I think yes, the leaves are starting to go away, so I think yeah. That the last one was a that one was a ingrown. I don't know, <laughs> ingrown tree, you can call that. Okay, so it's raining, I guess. Will it go fast? I don't know. Okay. So let's just play the video. Will appear in the night sky once you have not slept for a couple of days. So if you decide to stay up past your bedtime if you don't sleep in a bed for a few days they will swoop down from the night 
and they are dangerous. They, they can move pretty quickly, they can do a lot of damage, and if you're not prepared for them, they can take you out pretty quickly. So what we need is a bed, and for a bed, we need some wool. You need three wool and three wood planks to make a bed, and of course, you get wool from sheep. Now, normally, if you just kill a sheep like so, it'll drop one wool and maybe one or... Wait, let me get to a sheep quickly. We can be might as well. If we can find one, maybe. Here or there. Oh, that thing is a cool, cozy little shelter kind of thing. There. There in the distance. Good. Anyways, I'm just gonna go there. My wood bar is full. So we might as well go there and search for some, some sheep. As he does. Okay. Got a little herb from that as well. No, uh, no problem. There are so many pigs right now and a donkey, but I don't find any sheep. That's weird. Ooh, this is another good plane. Yep. There's a Baba black sheep as well. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Of course you have, because you're a Minecraft sheep. Mostly you have. I hope you have. Yeah. Yep, you have your wool. I have, I have my wool. Now let's get back. And let's just play the video. Or to mutton as well. So that kind of sorts out our source of food temporarily. But the best thing to do with sheep, now that we've got a little bit of iron from our mining trip in the last episode, it's is to make a pair of shears using two iron ingots, like so, in a 2x2 two two or a 3x3 three three interface. Mm -hmm. And what you do with shears Maybe. is you walk up to a sheep, right-click on it, and they drop between one and three wool, and it doesn't kill the sheep. So that can be very useful for farming... Oh, there are some sheep here as well. So I got the iron while the, I was waiting for the night to pass by. I was I for uh, kept the iron we found in the furnace and I got eight iron ingots. So we also make I guess um, a pair of shears. Yep, got them. Okay, put shears onto the inventory. Um, so this is a grey sheep, but anyway, it's no problem. Shear. Shear. Yep, we got how much wool, I guess? Two? Three! Three grey wool. And let's get this black one as well. Where it go? It couldn't have despawned. Right? Oh yeah, <laughs> there it is. Thank you very much. Now let's just play. Being wool long term, and a lot of the stuff in Minecraft is actually better if you can have it in a renewable way. So if you can just keep acquiring the wool over and over again from the same sheep, then you never have to go around looking for more sheep ever again. You can also breed sheep, which we will get to later, if you want to increase the flock that you have. But as you can see right now, the sheep is looking a little bit naked until it eats grass. And then the wool grows back instantly, eat grass, and it can be sh dumb sheep. Yep, that one is grass. That made a dirt block instead of a grass block, and this is a full regular sheep now. You, you eat a grass block as well. I'll give you some wheat. Ooh, it looked like me just as I said wheat. <laughs> That's a great coincidence, I guess. Anyways, we got the Baba black sheep it again so in that way you can have a renewable source of wool right on your doorstep and if you don't find sheep right at the beginning of your world it's kind of important that you go and find them pretty quickly either that or get used to spending most of your nights indoors where the phantoms won't be able to swoop out of the sky and get you 
But we've started off with seven wool, which is fantastic. We only needed three to make a bed, so I'm going to head back to my crafting table and we'll make one of those and that will allow us to survive the nights a little I bit easier. Bed, the thing about bed... Wait a minute. Drop that block off. Go in a cozy little home. Make a bed. Black or grey. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't know the rest. Um, okay, grey. <laughs> okay, that was lame, but anyway. Um, we... It's in Minecraft is that they, they have a couple of things aside from making sure phantoms don't attack you. We're going to pop down a bed in here. In fact, let me let me get some dye and let's dye our bed a red colour okay. because we may as I well introduce dyes that. at this point in the tutorial. Um, so I'm also going to find... Uh, but you know what? Uh, if we don't find red, I guess I'm just going to go yellow because there is a, there's a, a sunflowers over there in the back. And... Um, I like yellow beds. They're like they. I feel like they're golden uh, beds. I was gonna say golden red, but anyway, that's because I'm dumb. <laughs> Not anything else. Okay, poppies. Poppies. What the heck? Oh, there's a monster. Down. Drowned out of nowhere. <sighs> that was bad. Anyways, I'll get some blue orchids. I guess I'll go into my room. I can't sprint anymore because I have no food. I guess I'll cook the mutton we got from killing that two sheep. Poor sheep. It will become my food today. So mutton goes here. There of course. Take that to that. Craft that into a uh, blue dye. And we get a blue bed. That's cool. And we put it here. Blue is my favorite color. Anyways. Oh. Series as well. Flowers all around you can be placed in your crafting inventory to make That's dye. That's just what like I did so. right this now. This is rose red, despite the fact that this is a poppy. Don't ask me why. <laughs> poppies in Minecraft used to be roses. R.I.P. roses. They are now poppies. But they still make red dye, which means if you put it in your inventory with the bed, you can dye the bed sheets red. And all beds in Minecraft used to be red until the introduction of multicolored beds in the previous update. Now... Let's pop this back inside, and beds have two very important uses. One, they allow you to set a spawn point, which you can't do unless you can sleep in it, and you can only sleep at night, or as it says on the screen, during thunderstorms. But the uh, the spawn point setting is very useful because normally we, we would spawn around here because this is where we originally spawned into the world if we die. But if you decide to move further afield than your spawn point, if you decide to go and set up a base somewhere else in the world, then you don't want to respawn back at your original spawn point if you die. You want to be able to spawn at your base where all of your resources are. So having a bed allows you to set a spawn point and that will let you return to that point anytime you die. The other thing about beds is they allow you to skip the night. So once the sun gets low enough, we will be able to sleep in this bed. We can sleep just for a couple of seconds and then the, the daylight cycle will reset to the dawn starting over there. And we will be able to skip the night entirely, which means no monsters come out, which means it's a lot safer to walk out of your front door first thing in the morning and start your new day in Minecraft. And you'll find a lot of people end up skipping the night just so they don't have to deal with the inconvenience of monsters being around while they're doing a bunch of building. So now we've got the bed set up, we can think about that source of food that I mentioned. And we're probably going to start off here by growing some wheat. Wheat is a very basic thing in Minecraft. All you need to do to find wheat seeds is punch a little bit of grass. And as you can see, we've already got some in our inventory. We picked some up during the course of this episode, and we also had some in our inventory from last time because I was clearing out all of the grass over here to make room for our house. So we're going to grab as many wheat seeds as we can, as many wheat seeds as we dare to from... Um, do we have any seeds right now? Oh, I think I got a seed. 
Yep, we have three seeds. Okay, I might have gotten two before. I don't know how, but I guess I have it. I guess we'll take a couple of wheat seeds please give me wheat seeds yep i think we have five of them right now five five yeah okay in the earlier versions of minecraft we got wheat seeds pretty much pretty easily but i think they have lowered the chance of spawning them i mean coming them out of grass i think we have six right now or maybe five Oh, how much? Seven. Seven is not that bad, but not that good as well. This double grass uh, have a more chance of giving wheat seeds. we get two double digits then I might stop I think we have double digits oh we have 16 that's pretty much good so we'll get to our home and start hoeing on this little area around here and it's obviously gonna make the place look a it's kind of nice to clear it out, but there we go, we've got 16, fantastic. Now, we need an area in which to plant these, and for a start, crops need farmland, and they need that farmland to be near a source of water, so the farmland can be irrigated or hydrated. So, we need to make a tool that will allow us to turn the grass around here into farmland, and we need to make it over here by the water so that the farmland can be hydrated. Now, if you make yourself a bucket out of three iron, you can actually move the water sources around so that you can put them in different places and you don't have to make a farm right next to water but we're going to worry about that in just a second as you can see the sun is setting i'm going to close my door just for a bit of comfort a bit of privacy and once the sun reaches a certain level we will be able to sleep the night away in this bed so i'm just going to and hut come out armor i've only cast day counter for how long it's going to be before phantoms okay, will start so to come he's out made a shield, so i guess i'll make one as well Shield, shield, shield. Okay, so do I have enough oak? I don't, I guess I don't have enough oak planks to make it. Yeah, now I guess I'll have, I have a shield. Yep, shield, got it. Oh, oops. Oh, yeah, shield. Yep, so, yep. Okay. and attack us you will probably see phantoms later on in this series but now i've not got really any armor i've only got a shield i don't want to worry about them right now so we're gonna we're gonna make sure we skip the night until we are ready to take those guys on now we've got a little bit more wood in our inventory here we're going to turn some of that into sticks and we are also going to make ourselves a couple of extra tools i'll need some torches as well so we'll make one two three four more sets of torches giving us 20 That'll be useful for lighting some stuff up, and we're going to make a hoe. 
which is the tool I was talking about earlier that turns grass or dirt into farmland. Now the stone hoe is going to do well for the moment. We can also make one out of wood, which has slightly less durability. You can also make one of iron, gold, or diamond if you... Okay, let me just go to our water source again. I guess I'll go, go out the area. I guess I'll... Ooh, there's a drown. Why isn't he looking towards me? Come here, boy. Okay. I guess I'll just shovel out this area. Okay, so I just uh, hold out. I shoveled out the area over here. Um, I guess I'll make a little staircase over here. Yep, and I'm just gonna. Oops. Uh huh. Yep, I shall hold on this area a bit. I guess night's falling, uh, so I guess I'll go to the house and um, get some sleep. But before that, I'm just gonna pull out the seeds and okay so this guy is coming at me okay so it's practically night as he is coming out of the water because strand only come out of the water if there is night or there is a thunderstorm so it's not a thunderstorm right now that I can guarantee you. Uh, so I'll just, I guess I'll just go into the bed and sleep. Yep. Okay, so my food bar is running a bit low. Anyway. You want to, but some. Uh, I had to delete some stuff from my phone because. That was, that was taking a lot of space and uh, my phone was out of space so I had to take out some stuff yes let's just get the seeds in the hand because these types of these type of things take a lot of space in the phone and if, uh, if it's a PC like Pix plays on or many other Minecraft youtubers play on it's okay because they have a lot of space and you can record stuff but i had to delete some stuff like some useless games that i don't play then some images that are just that just come to me like time for pp and i had to do some anyways okay so the space ran out again because that's taking double the space I can because uh, it's also taking away the space of my phone as I'm recording and also the space to which the world is building I'm progressing on the world and it's rendering stuff like that mountain in the distance I'll have to slowly walk away from my home to get some food and finally eat it get some help get something on my food bar finally i can build do what i had to do in this video this videos okay that baby pig's gonna be angry on me because i made him an orphan yes i'll kill that pig Die, piggy, die. That sound from caves is really terrifying. I'm just gonna eat one. Thank you very much. Axe in the hand. Kill the sheep. 
Give me some water. You already on to five levels. Um, picks is on to four because I had to use a lot of food. I have to kill many stuff like skeletons, zombies, and such. Okay. Raw pork chop get some cooked in a few seconds. I guess night is falling. Nope, yeah, I'll just, I guess I'll just play. Sometimes it's best to just use the material that is most comp. It's going, I'll just get okay. farmland. I skipped the part because he was just telling about, he was just showing how to use the hoe and how to plant the seeds. That's basic stuff. Mostly you might be uh, mostly knowing that. Okay, so I'll take the raw pork, cooked pork chop. Take in hand. Please, not the last one. Okay, cooked chicken, cooked mutton. My health is also replenishing. I'll, yes, I'll just play and, and slowly but surely I forgot what he does ahead so I guess I'll just play. the farmland starts to go darker which means it's getting water which means it's getting hydrated and hydrated crops as we plant them here using our right click button he turns this bone into bone meal like his bone so I'm, I guess I'm also gonna do that oh, bite that nope nope thank you will grow faster than crops which don't have any water going to them so you can actually hoe a piece of farmland anywhere you'd like and plant seeds in it but if it's not close to water those crops aren't going to grow nearly See, as fast I, so uh, put it near it's actually source. worth planting stuff right next to water or moving the water sources around if you want stuff to grow because sooner or later that dirt is going to dry out and while the seeds will still grow it won't be quite as fast so there we go we have planted our first wheat farm and i'm also going to take down this remainder of this birch tree over here because i did see a few people in the comments of the last episode saying that if i didn't take down the rest of that birch tree there was going to be trouble you'll notice that the leaves for these trees don't despawn until you've taken out all the wood that forms the trunk in the center of the tree so the leaves will only start to disappear once you've removed all the wood and a lot of people don't like leaving floating trees there because obviously it looks kind of unnatural it looks a little bit ugly and even though the minecraft world doesn't look particularly natural in itself sometimes we just like to make things look a little bit more natural than they are i might even use these shears now that i've made them to break down some of these leaves and you can actually collect leaves that way for decoration. We might use some of these to decorate our house later, but you just do that by left-clicking on them the way you would mine out other materials with a pickaxe or an axe or anything like that. It's not like with the sheep when you right-click on them to get the wool. You left. Okay, so the recording started, stopped again and I had to start the recording again. Please, now I removed a lot of stuff. Also cleared my trash bin. Um, yeah, my grandma's going to be angry because this is her phone. I use it most of the time. But anyways, let's just see. Let's just let it load. Mm. I hope that this video doesn't get too much far. Uh, I guess I'll skeleton in the distance wait this is light and this is very bright now it's dark bright dark Bright, dark, bright, dark. That's cool. Anyways, let's just go and sleep. If we can, yep. We can. Okay. 
so the thing he does i have to finish this video quickly so i guess i'll just um do it quickly uh, the thing that he does is make some fences with this and uh, makes an animal cow farm and a sheep farm i guess we'll also do that quickly um okay so we're in a speed run cool let's just get let's just bone meal that beat um we can get to wheat quickly okay so we got wheat first bit of wheat so let me guess what should i throw i guess i'll throw the okay extra bit of i'll throw i guess granite okay sorry granite it also makes a chest which we'll do as well or i guess i'll do that off camera okay so come here it uh, no i'm not going to do that right now guess i guess i'll trap it into my house but it will it will wander off into the mine so i guess i'm not going to do that i guess i'll make some fences real quick okay so we craft a chest that is easy to do just in a circle like a furnace we put the wood i don't have wood planks right now much so yes i'll make some chest okay just throw the coal right now get the chest oops get the chest place the chest that's my motor right now just to clear put everything useless into here not useless it's always into some use but uh, it's just useless i like the sound of that useless mm quick 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 come on you don't want this video to get too, too long do you the sticks in as well light gray wool as well okay, keep the oak with me so we will need break it down into planks coal here so plank we will break it all down into planks get some pretty much get some sticks okay let's create some fences okay and a fence and a fence gate okay i created three by mistake oops quick 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 okay chop this down put the gate here center one put the gate over here okay that's it let the wheat in my hand let the sheep come in I'm not going to feed it right now because Lose our only bit of wheat. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> he got tricked. 
see if we can find a moosh moo cow um i guess i'll make the mating call for the cows got some sheep yes sheep like to mate with cows that sheep is blind i guess it was blindly following me stranger from here little sheepy oh it's drowning like bad luck for me from here little sheepy baba white sheep have you and wool yes you do i know that too can you make a hybrid of a, um black sheep and a white sheep to make a gray sheep i don't know i'm having dumb thoughts right now dumb dumb very dumb he got a moo cow a black sheep and a white white sheep i guess so that's pretty much it for this bit of video Yes, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Subscribe. This has been a long video. Sorry for making it too long, but I had problems of my own. Thank you for watching. Bye.